it's Mandy and today is Monday and for those of you who have watched my channels um, from the beginning you know I've always done weigh-ins on Tuesday I'm gonna change things up I'm actually gonna start doing my weigh-ins on Monday and the reason for that is I have joined Mission Slim Possible take two it's um, put on by Christy busy mommy Collins and I'm going to link her channel probably around here somewhere if I can figure out how to do that for you to check out her video. If not, the link will be down below in the description. You can check that out. Basically what this is, is a 90 day challenge and we, um, it's a group of people and we're just there to be able to encourage each other and we weigh in every Monday and it's a great support system. And it's just a challenge to be able to lose weight and she's going to be, uh, there's going to be three winners uh, this time, a first, second, and third prize winner. And I just think it's a great opportunity to be part of. So if you are not, if you have not signed up for it, you should definitely check out her video and sign up. It's not too late. Even though today is the official day uh, of it, the first of it and this is the official weigh-in, but she has extended the start um, up and through the 22nd, you can sign up. So it doesn't cost anything, it's just, you just let her know that you're gonna do it, and it's for 90 days, so it ends like March 13th or 15th, somewhere around there. Her video will explain everything in detail, so definitely join if you have not already. And with me telling you all this, the weigh-ins for that is on Mondays. So I don't want to have to weigh for that and then weigh Tuesday and have all these different days of weigh-in days. I just want to have one day. So I'm going to start doing Mondays. In my previous video, I talked about how I ran and did the week one, day one of the Couch to 5K. And it felt really good and I didn't have any problems. Well, I spoke too soon because my foot, like later that evening after I went home and like I was like sitting for a while and I got up, it hurt so bad. But it wasn't in the spot that had hurt previously with all my foot injury. It's more like up in the ankle area. So I don't know if I, like my ankles just wasn't used to like supporting like all that weight or whatever. Um, but all I know is it hurts really bad and there's like a lot of sharp pains and I thought it would get better and today's Friday and it still, you know, definitely hurts and makes me limp. So obviously I'm not going to be doing any more running or walking really at that matter. Um, for the next couple days I'm just going to take it easy through the weekend and then Monday if it's still hurting I'm going to go hopefully I can get in to see my doctor and have it checked out and make sure I didn't do anything damaging to it. So I will definitely keep you updated and let you know what turns out about that. But I really hope I didn't injure it. I just really, I am just so eager to get back out there and start working. And um, it's like I don't, I've been like lazy for so long. I'm sick and tired of it and I want to actually get a good workout in. But I know I have to go slow so Anyways, I will let you know what happens with the foot. Until then, I am just going to kind of rest and not do much. I never went to the doctor, but I really think what had happened was I was extremely tight. Like my muscles were tight and sore, like in my shins and in my calves and all the way up into my thighs. I'm really bad about stretching um, before and after workouts. And all weekend, my legs were so sore, like from my thighs to my hamstrings to my calves, all the way down into my ankles. And I really think that um, that is what was causing the pain, the tight muscles causing spasms. And so today is Monday and I don't really have any pain. I mean, very little. Um, my shins are still kind of sore. And so I'm thinking, you know, like I had some shin splints possibly. So I'm going to attempt to do day two of the Couch to 5K. 
but I'm going to take it easy if I begin to feel any discomfort or pain because I don't want to hurt myself. I'm going to make sure I stretch before and then I'm going to make sure I stretch after as well. And um, so hopefully I don't experience that pain like I did, but if I do, I'll probably go see the doctor and make sure that I really am released to run and everything is okay. So, wish me luck. Hopefully I do well. And I guess you'll find out in just a few minutes how my workout went. Alright, so I am here at the park to work out and I really don't feel like doing this. But uh, I'm just tired and feel like being lazy, but I've been lazy for six months so it's time to get out there. Plus I'm really hungry, I didn't eat lunch and I probably should have eaten something before I come out here and run slash walk. But I didn't want to eat anything because then I wouldn't run because I just ate. So. Hopefully this all goes well, but I did remember to bring a bottle of water this time, so at least I will have that. Anyways, let's get this workout started. Workouts completed and I did the entire thing without stopping. Now to drink water. Last week I weighed in at 280.9 and this week, uh, this morning, whenever I weighed in, I weighed in at 278.7. So that is a loss of 2.2 pounds. I'm definitely happy with that because I was out of town this weekend. I kind of ate really bad and I really thought I was going to stay the same or possibly gain, but I didn't. So I'm very pleased with that and excited to kind of see my weight go down instead of go up. So that is very exciting. Yay! Back on track. You have a blessed night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!